you guys are spending the day with me as a lifestyle content creator and as a nine to five worker today the 2nd of december and i'm also going to be giving you some lifestyle vlogging tips on the way <music> Hi guys, so we are office ready. Um, let me show you guys how my space is looking like right now. I always make sure it's nice, cozy and clean in order for me to come back and feel relaxed when I get back home. So yeah, I am office ready, so let's just get going to work. Hi guys, so I've been at work. I haven't been able to record anything for you guys because obviously I have been working back to back. It's currently 6 minutes past 2 p.m so tip number one make sure you plan your vlogs ahead of time because vlogs are very very searchable if you plan them very well and you do your seos properly because yes vlogs are interesting to watch and they are very very fun entertaining and they can be educative as well so for this particular vlog i didn't plan it but there are a couple of ways i can go about this for me to be able to rank high on youtube because i do a so much of keyword research i do so much research on youtube try to make sure well videos i'm putting out are engaging fun and interesting and relatable please make sure your content is relatable make sure somebody watches your videos and say oh my god i can relate to this yes so you just go ahead i don't have the pro version of tubebuddy yet but i use tubebuddy i use B -B -E -I -Q. <laughs> i'm sorry i'm not pronouncing it right but they are tools that you can use to rank high for your search engine optimization on youtube so these tools you just type on tubebuddy like the title you want you will see if people are actually researching for this kind of videos like this particular videos that you want to put out for your audience to see so i have a couple of videos that have done well on my youtube channel for example like my moving in apartment i went on my tubebuddy and i searched for those kind of content at that point in time and people were like looking for that kind of content and also when i did like my house hunting i'll link it up here people also research if you're in nigeria of course you know house hunting searching for houses are difficult so those are the kind of content that people really want to see so you make sure people are actually looking for the type of content your audience wants to consume what you want to give them I know I'm making sense. Yes, that's why I'm saying it out. You search for the content your audience wants to see. So TubeBuddy helps. If you can afford to pay for the pro version, which I don't have yet, but with time, when I get monetized on YouTube, of course, I'll get to that point where I can pay for getting like the pro version of TubeBuddy for in order to help me also rank higher in the optimization of my channel. Okay, so I use TubeBuddy, but not the paid version. So I just go ahead on TubeBuddy, type the titles that I want to create content for because I already know what I want to do ahead and tubebuddy tells me okay this is bad okay this is good okay this is medium okay you can go for this and yeah now another tip i want to give for creators as well this is a creator video vlogging for example is know what you want to do ahead don't take too much of time like if you want to um, show how you're cleaning we don't need that lengthy video where you're cleaning your room from the beginning till the end you can just do like a second of you sweeping around or anything just very short because when it comes to editing 
it will take you a very long while to edit that particular content you might not want to cut off some parts so i would advise you film what you need so for example today i already know what i wanted to do like this vlog like i said it wasn't planned it just came into my head and i was like okay why not give people some vlogging tips on how i personally vlog and yeah i'm just going along with the flow and how it's coming to me in my head so like right now i just want to say this particular thing or i just want to do this particular thing just yeah just that so yeah like right now i just want to get, get lunch so just follow me maybe i've been going nowhere lately it's time to start all over and go for it cause they don't even hi guys good morning this is the third of december and it is 6 a.m i'm getting office ready after getting lunch yesterday i went to the mall and i got few stuff just two things and i wanted to show you guys but unfortunately my phone died so that is where comes this tip when you have your vlogging cameras or your phone please make sure your battery is fully charged because you know what to get embarrassed like i went to the mall yesterday i wanted to show you the process the mall the walking through and, and all of that stuff but my phone died and when i came home there was no light this is nigeria and that comes another tip don't shut your ration don't bring yourself down and you'll be like this is nigeria there's no light generator is on this is 6 a.m of course and i'm going to work but i won't limit myself and say okay because i'm going to work i have to go and get ready i want to do what i want to do so make sure you are always ready now there comes where i'm going to do the haul for you guys for the two things i got i changed my body wash let me show you guys my previous body wash i used to use this dove glowing ritual body wash and i couldn't find it at the mall yesterday so i decided to go for the scent i've soothing body wash this particular one and this smells like oh my god this smells like something you want to eat this is nice i never used to like oatmeal or shea butter to be honest i don't like them but this particular one i love 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 how it smells and i also got like my nivea body spray i don't like to run out of it i did run out of it for a day and i was so angry so i just decided to get two i would have gotten like five but <laughs> i didn't have enough money yeah <laughs> another tip always think about your transition don't just jump from the house to the store don't don't do things pa, pa, pa. i'm in nigeria so i can't say pa, pa, pa. don't do things pa, pa, pa. <laughs> show us how you're doing it it's always a good storytelling it helps your audience retention they want to see what you're doing next show don't tell a good storytelling is when you show your audience what you're doing like for example yesterday when i was going to work i showed you guys my footstep i showed you guys when i was in the cab going to work and all of those stuff show your audience don't tell them don't say okay i am going to work don't just say it with your mouth show them that helps your productivity level that also helps your audience understand you better and it's also a good storytelling for you because vlogging is actually a storytelling and if you're a creator you're actually telling a story if you know salem on instagram he's always telling a story through his images show your audience what you're doing don't tell them it gets really boring when you're talking yeah la, la, la. I really like your body. I really and finally your last 20 seconds should not be a goodbye should not be hi guys we are at the end of this video i make also that mistake and i will start not doing that from now on because as soon as you say goodbye the, your audience retention drops automatically you tell me goodbye i'll go definitely no don't do that try to make 
an engaging conversation redirect your audience to another video that you would like them to watch another video that will be insightful another video that will help them maybe a video that tallies with this one that i'm currently making so guys you can also watch this particular video right here that will help you start your lifestyle vlogging seamlessly i do enjoy seeing people making content so go out there film some content and let's have fun together Mwah.